Hi guys, you are all welcome to this uh, virtual training session. So today the topic is uh, Repository Manager, previously known as uh, Metadata Manager, and uh, it's Repository Manager in uh, version 10. So basically, what it does is, um, let's say if you have developed a code in your development environment and you would like to migrate it to SIT and then SIT to UET and UET to production. So this is how you do it. You do it here. So this is uh, first of all you need to validate. You can see there's a tick symbol here, which means basically that this ORS is valid. You have a triangle uh, warning symbol here. It means it has been validated, but there were certain warnings. So you need to validate the ORS before you proceed to the next further steps. So promote is something. Okay, here you select uh, the source. Okay. And then here you select uh, and just uh, select the source here and select the target here. So let's say if you want, if you created a new base object uh, named C underscore account, so you can uh, simply promote that object into your target repository. So basically, this will be your development and this will be your SIT or testing. So you just if you once you promote it, then automatically that object appears up in your target. Import is something where. Um, you can either import it from a file if you have exported to a file otherwise you can import from some other repository to a to an empty repository okay you your repository should be empty here and export is something if you want to completely export uh, a repository that is all the packages base objects everything will be exported then you can use this export option then import from uh, CWM file, I already talked about that, the CWM file is in a common warehouse model, so it's not specific to Informatica NDM. This format is used widely across data warehouses, so tools, data modeling tools like Evin, typically they use um, uh, a CWM uh, file to store data models. So you can create a data model in an uh, CWM in an uh, Edwin tool, and you can store that in a CWM file, and then you can import that CWM CWM file here. Otherwise, what you can do is you can export. You can export. You can choose this, choose the repository, and you can export these objects, base objects, okay? And then you can import those objects in your Erwin tool or any data modeler tool that supports CWM then you will see that all these base objects everything will be created up there ok so basically that was it that was a short demonstration about the repository manager thank you very much for listening and check out the other videos